Good evening, YouTube. It is totally peaceful here. There's our burn pile right there. Uh, and we, we screwed up. But we already hit all the evidence of us screwing up. Um, we took all the Thanksgiving trash and just threw it out there in the burn pile. Gonna burn it later that night. And other things happened and we just didn't get it burnt. And then Sunday morning, you'd think, sometime between Thursday afternoon and Sunday morning, the coons would have found it. But they didn't find it till early Sunday morning. And they scattered trash. I don't know if you can see. Okay. Here's the burn pile. Yes. And here's a bridge. Come on. Here we go. Here's the bridge, and here's the pond, and just this whole area was just two full big black trash bags full of debris. Got scattered all over the whole area there under the pine tree. Big old, big old tall pine tree. Anyway, um, I thought I would take you with me to feed the animals and if you remember back like the end of june we brought home the cutest little piggies little black piggies we got them from adler farms and our piggies aren't so cute anymore anyway this stuff in the bucket is cracked corn and water we soak it so it doesn't like swell up in their tummies because once you put water on it it does absorb um i want you to listen to the pigs talking they hear me talking and they know it's after four o'clock mom how come you haven't fed us yet so hey piggies hey piggies there's my babies oh i wish this camera wouldn't go black so fast anyway Here's the piggies. They now weigh about 140 pounds a piece. The little one weighs about 130, but I'm not sure which one the little one is. The one with the pink on her nose. You can see them salivating. You see that? It's like Pavlov's dogs. Hi, Charlotte, or Jelly, whatever your name is. Yeah, the one with a little pink on her nose. That's the girl. Uh, mostly their noses are so muddy, I can't tell which one's which. They like to push their food bowls away from the fence so I can't reach them. So, what I have to do, I have to set you on a bucket. There we go. Anyway. So that you can watch me feed the pigs. There we go. Okay. Um, I'm going to take this third pig tub. Fill it with their slops. And then try to set it down on the other side of the electric fence. To do that, I have to bribe the pigs to go somewhere else. So... I have a little bit of food and I will toss it. There you go, boys and girls. It's a pretty good shot. I don't always do that good at job. But there you go. They know <laughs> it's fun just to watch them because they know not to get close to the electric fence. This is Premier One fencing. Uh, and it's worked pretty good so far. Uh, the girl pig, Jelly, we used to call her Charlotte, but my little friend Garrett, who is Pinky's brother, uh, wanted us to name Charlotte Jelly instead. So we... We have tried in our minds to change that name, J-E-L-L-I-E, -L -L -E, Jelly. Um, but when they, they push in between each other, 
because they don't want to be close to the electric fence. When they get shocked, they squeal loudly. Um, when I get shocked, I holler because it does not feel good. Anyway, um, wanted to bring you along to help me do my chores. And now I'm gonna, I got this bucket. Uh, at Atwood's, it's the same stuff that um, Adler Farms uses. So, most of the stuff that we use here, we use because other YouTube channels, let me make you dizzy there, sorry. We use because other YouTube channels have, like Adler Farms or Keeping It Dutch or Hidden Heights or uh, Arms Family Homestead, we, we learn from other channels. And most of the stuff that I've learned about taking care of animals, I didn't learn when I was a kid on the farm. I was just told what to do, when to do it, how to do it, but never why. You know, why do you give chickens grain? Why do you give them uh, grit? Why, you know, um, I didn't know any of that stuff. And learning the why that we do things is really important. Um, when, I, when I feed the chickens, um, when I try to go in their cage, they swarm to wherever I go. See? Wherever I go, they swarm. And it's awfully hard getting in the gate because they all want to come out. So, I have tricked the chickens. And I get a little bit of food in a glass. I used to use this. But when I tried to throw the food through the chicken wire, a bunch of it always fell outside. But when I use the glass, I can hold it up against the fence and the extras fall, mostly, fall down inside the pen. And then the chickens don't care at all if I go in or out. Um, this setup, of course, doesn't lock the chickens in. I mean, chickens are too stupid to get out. I've left the, I've left the locks undone. It doesn't keep people out. Nothing's going to keep people out if they're determined to get in. Um, it's to keep the raccoons out because raccoons are just smart. Um, possums might eat ticks and fleas and stuff. But coons are smart. A raccoon's brain is about five times the size of a possum brain. So, uh, here's chicken food. I almost never have to put any food in there. Um, Kevin likes to fill it up on Saturdays. The chickens prefer to eat the stuff I throw at them. And so here's how, here's how I gather eggs. Um, there's a golf end. Also, they're in there. Um... Um, in case a snake gets in, maybe it'll swallow, in case another snake gets in, maybe it'll swallow the um, golf ball instead of the eggs and kill a nuisance snake. So, here we go. I've already gotten, I got one egg early this morning. Here's four, five, six. That's seven eggs. And that's a record for us. Over the last, I don't know, several months. We haven't been getting anywhere near that many eggs. Well, no, we've gotten six a couple of times. Uh, but this is a time of year that chickens don't normally lay eggs. So this is a good deal. Here's Old Whitey. Hey, Old Whitey. Old Whitey is probably too old to lay. Um, there's either sassy or spicy. I don't know which. There's one of the white ones. We call them all Whitey. There's another white one. His name's Whitey. There's a rooster. His name's Killer. Uh, according to our friends, he killed a raccoon before they gave him to us. Um, this one's Red Richard, because Richard gave it to us. This one that looks 
sad, uh, practically demented. Um, her name is Storm Cloud. And this really pretty one over here, black and white, is named Stormy. Um, several black chickens. One of them has a lot of red and orange on her neck. And I don't know where she is right now, though. Um, her name's Little Bit. Oh, there she is. A lot of red feathers over there against the fence with her head dug down. Hey, Little Bit. Um, we didn't name them. Well, Red Richard, I did. And Old Whitey. Um, these uh, brown and white, orange and white ones, those are cinnamon queens. And they lay the light brown eggs. Now, some of these others might be laying light brown, brown eggs, too. This egg is speckled. Um, all of the other speckled eggs we've gotten were from our turkey. So, I don't know what chicken lays that color eggs. I just, I don't know. Um, I'm sure there are many websites that are dedicated to chickens and raising chickens where I could go look it up and see what kind of chickens lays those spotted eggs. Um, haven't ever gotten one of those before. Um, here's Dottie. She may be the one that laid the dark brown egg because that's what she used to do, but she normally laid great big dark brown eggs. Um, I, I think she has quit laying. And I don't know. I do not know. <laughs> I just don't know if I'm going to let my old hens live out their lives or if they're going to end up as chicken and dumplings because this is a farm, but it's, we don't make our living off the farm. Um, it's more like a hobby farm because uh, so far we've done nothing but spend money on hogs. Um, they weigh about 150 pounds a piece. You measure um, around the pig right behind their front legs. Uh, so we measure that. Um, the girth. Um, and then you measure from the base of their ears to the base of their tail. Or sorry, base of their skull to the base of their tail. Um, and then you multiply girth times girth times length and divide that by 400. And it gives you a pretty good estimate on how much they weigh. The little pig out there probably weighs 130. The other two are pretty close to 140. Uh, and it's just a matter of an inch or two here and there that makes such a huge difference. Anyway, um, so here's our chickens. They're spicy and sassy. Um, we tried when we were at Tractor Supply in May, buying the April, May, May, middle of May, buying the baby chickens. We tried to get two of each color and six of the white ones. So, um, <laughs> so our, our chicken pen doesn't look boring. Um, and they're all the time, all the time, uh, fighting for dominance or the pecking order. It's like pecking order gets re-established, re-established, re-established. Anyway, um, there's our rooster. The young lady that gave him to us named him Killer. Um, he's about twice the size of all the others. Really pretty feathers. Um, uh, we had another really pretty rooster that kept attacking my husband, Kiffin. So we sold him and then the family that gave us the other chickens. Oh, hey, big girl. What are you doing? Do you want to be on film? Hmm? No? Okay, show us your butt. Um, the family that gave them to us already had them all named, but I have forgotten some of the names. So, now you know everything I know about my chickens. They're fun. This one's spicy. Her orange goes further down her wings than Sassy's. And there's a really pretty gray one with dark gray edges on its feathers. It's just really pretty. There's two of those. One of them's... Oh, the other one's right here. Yeah. So, um, that's how we feed 
our animals of an evening. It takes about five minutes, unless I'm on, <laughs> unless I'm on the camera, and then it takes me forever. So you guys have a wonderful, wonderful evening, and welcome to Stone Cabin Adventures. We hope you come on many, many, many more adventures with us. This evening's adventure was quite peaceful. God bless. Remember, we love you, but Jesus loves you more. Mwah.